Hello guys, in this video tutorial I will show you the powerful trick for creation of assembly uh, connection using assembly 4 and fastness workbench. So the first step, let's open the FreeCAD and activate part design workbench and here let's create the primitive the cylinder. We will create the flange of a pipe with holes okay let's set some radius and the length of the pipe flange and the second let's create this pipe with thickness the thickness of wall we can control through diameter of cylinder. Let's set 53, for example, and create the packet operation and we'll make the cut. Okay, let's create the sketch on the side of pipe and create the circle. We can connect the our circle with external edge and set the here let's for this circle set the diameter. We have to delete the constraint because we have the false here and let's just delete it and choose this toggle external flange and set the radius it will be 80 millimeters and for this sketch let's create the extrude operation this called pad operation and set the thickness of flange So now let's make the 10 millimeters. I think it is enough, and make the refine true. So the last step is generation the holes on this side of pipe flange. Let's create the sketch on this surface and create the circle. And for the circle, let's set the dimension. It will be radius 4 millimeters diameter 8 millimeters for this case we can set the 3 it is small i think 4 is enough and let's choose the position the center of this circle of this hole Let's set 65, I think 67 is good. Let's close the sketch and for the sketch let's create the packet operation. And now we have to create the array of these holes. We choose Z axis, it is the rotation axis, and number of holes, it will be 8, and click OK. And now we have the final geometry of pipe flange, make refine true. And now we have to create the assembly, <coughs> using the assembly for workbench. Let's activate the assembly for workbench, you can download it from add-on manager. Okay, and let's create the part to document and call it flange. Okay, and just translate the flange body to flange. And to the model we have to paste 
the flange model okay the insert and choose the coordinate systems for this uh, it first flange and now we have to paste the second flange to the model of array it also repeat the flange input log out coordinate system for flange one choose it and now we have to rotate our flange in y direction it is here okay and we have the assembly of two flanges and then now we have to create the connections between two flanges using the screw and nut nuts for this uh, it uh, will be f fast let's open the fastness workbench and just choose all our all edges of holes we have to choose this match screw we have can use external thread or internal thread and choose the edges of flange pipe choose all edges for this and go to workbench fastness and choose any screw for example this or this okay let's choose this and now we have all screw m8 and let's change the lens the all uh, screws set it for example 30 and we have the enough lens for this so let's hide the screws and choose the edges of flange again and we will paste the nuts for our screws here let's choose it go to the fastness workbench and choose the nuts I will choose this nuts type okay we have it generated but we have to make the offset for this because uh, there in the another side of the pipe flange let's set one uh, we have to set 20 millimeters because this all thickness of our pipe flange is 20 and make the invert true and delete the minus from here okay so now it looks correct N nuts on the wall of the pipe flange and let's show the screws so now we have the full connection of our pipe flange we can use this approach for different and other connections and so let's change some lens of screws 35 is, or 33 for example you can ch make it because it is parametrical models and activate the thread show and we have the full geometry of screw we can repeat it for nuts and so now we have the full geometry of our connection of pipe flange you can save it uh, to like one body or you can you have the parametrical model you can change the type of uh, screws or nuts and another thank you for watching subscribe to the channel goodbye